Hi guys, happy Sunday. We are going to be working on session 18 today, which is about um, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. So I want you to go to the faith summary, which is on page 76. And if you haven't read through that lesson, go ahead and do that. And we will go over what you worked on. So let's look at our faith summary. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick brings Jesus's strength, healing, and forgiveness to people who are sick. During the sacrament, the priest anoints the person who is sick with the oil of the sick. We can show care for those who are sick by praying prayers of intercession for them. Prayers of intercession. If you're interceding, you're praying on someone's behalf. Like we ask the Blessed Mother and we ask the saints to intercede for us. And all that means is that um, we're asking them to pray for us. So <clears throat> how many sacraments do we have? We have seven sacraments. And our seven sacraments can kind of be broken up into three different groups. We have sacraments of initiation, which brings you into the church and to the faith, which would be baptism and um, First Holy Communion. We have um, uh, sacraments of service, and which would be like holy orders, um, you know, uh, when priests are come into the church and made priest. And we also have sacraments of healing which anointing of the sick would fall under and reconciliation because there is a healing that is occurring both to the soul and also can occur to the body. There have been great miracles um, that have happened from people who have received the anointing of the sick. So it is considered a sacrament of healing. So what does the sacrament of the anointing of the sick bring to people who are sick? Jesus' strength, healing, and forgiveness. So it is a great, um, it is greatly encouraged and a great blessing to care for those who are ill, who are sick. And when the priest comes to do the anointing of the sick, it is bringing Jesus' strength, for that person with whatever might come, um, healing and forgiveness. So how can we show care for those who are sick? Pray prayers of intercession for them. We just mentioned that and that's all that is, is just praying for them. So let's look at the words I learned, anointing of the sick. If you go back to page... Let's see, where is it? On page 73, it talks about the anointing of the sick. And it used to be thought or it used to be practiced that only people who were um, about ready to die could receive the anointing of the sick. But that has changed now and um, you can receive it having just being ill. Um, you don't have to be on your deathbed to receive it now which is a great blessing. So if you look on page 73, at the bottom there, it is, Father Diaz thanked Nick and his mom for coming to see him. I will go and see Mrs. McKay right away. I'll offer to celebrate the sacrament of the anointing of the sick with her. So the priest comes and he prays with the individual who is sick. Um, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick is one of the seven sacraments, and it is a sacrament of healing, like I mentioned. And if you turn to the page 74, um, what they use during the anointing of the sick is the oil of the sick, which is an oil that has been blessed by the bishop. Why is it important to care for people who are sick or suffering? It's important to care for the sick and suffering um, to show them that God loves them and to show them that they're important and that they're thought about and cared about. Being sick um, can be a very scary thing and it's important to support people who are ill and um, 
and sick and to show them and to share with them God's love, that they are loved and that people care about them. Okay, so if we go back to page 76, we've gone over the words that I learned. Let's read the section, Ways of Being Like Jesus. Jesus comforted those who were sick or suffering. Give comfort to those who are ill by praying a prayer of intercession for them. So Jesus went out and healed the sick, right? All of um, the people who were very sick that others didn't want to go around, like the lepers who were um, very ill. And it's a very scary and kind of gross disease. People didn't want to go around them. They thought that they were unclean and unworthy. Um, but Jesus sought them. He sought after them. He went out to them and he brought to them God's love and mercy and showed them that they were important and they were loved and he comforted them, which is something we're also called to do. And you may not be called to go sit in a hospital room with someone who's sick, but in your daily prayers, you can offer intercession for anyone who is ill. Um, you know, we have the coronavirus going around and many people have gotten ill from that. And, you know, you could um, put that into your daily prayers at night when you say prayers before bed. I hope that you do. Um, you can pray for all those who are ill, who are suffering. Pray for the doctors and the nurses who are taking care of those people. And for the people who are ill, who are frightened and afraid, um, those are all ways that we can help um, people who are sick. So let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, help us remember that the needs of people who are sick are the concern of everyone in the com community. And I want to say a Hail Mary with that. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So praying a prayer of intercession is one way to help others experience Jesus' healing, right? Because great miracles can come from these sacraments, from any sacrament, um, but from these sacraments of healing, um, the anointing of the sick and reconciliation when you go into confession. Go ahead and look over that with my family section. And I want you to remember that Jesus is our light. And let's follow him until we meet again next week in our next video. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and next video we'll be, uh, going over the sacraments of service, like I mentioned earlier in the video. So until next time, God bless you. Bye.